All right, so this is the Rabbitat. Uh, they are currently eating their frozen strawberries and bananas. Uh, I'm not gonna take up a whole bunch of time with making ridiculous comments and going on and on and on about how I led up to this point. Oh, here comes her sister. Um, so we moved into this place about 10 months ago. Um, I understand this is a greenhouse and this is actually where they live. Uh, that's more for the winter than it is for the summer. Now it's about 93 degrees out here. So I'm going to be building a little pond with a runoff that direction uh, to grow the alfalfa and clover and things like that that they really like. And they actually have a pretty big area. Um, I had back surgery about three months ago, so I couldn't make this exactly the way that I wanted to. I just put it up the way that I could uh, to try and keep them in there. <coughs> so this is the greenhouse. That was their original hutch where they lived when we first got them. Um, obviously this is all going to have to be cleaned out and refurbished and it's going to be nice when it's done, trust me. Uh, but it's about 20 degrees warmer in there than it is outside, so we don't really want that. And then it wraps around the back of that. Over to here with my little avocado tree. And comes around the backside there. Um, so, I'm going to be making the pond. That's our zucchinis and, you know, peppers and things like that. And, you know, other things that are grown over there. Uh, that's a different channel. Don't worry about that. I live in Oregon. It's legal. Hey, my buns. You want some snacks? Oh, they fight when they hear the word snacks. My bunnies are ridiculous. They have grass everywhere, but if you rip some grass off the outside, come here. Come here. The grass that you give to them is apparently better than the grass that's already growing inside there. So this will just be the short intro. Uh, I will continue to update with more videos as we build the area up the way it's supposed to be. I'm also, you can see they've already built their little underground thing and that goes all the way over there behind that other shed. But I'm also going to build them. Oh, the cat came out. You hear her thump? She's freaking out, even though my cat does not care about them at all um, but I am going to build them a little above ground underground shelter back there in the corner so they can stay warm in the winter and cool in the summer and then right over in this area is going to be the pond and I will update that when I get it going